I've just come out of the hospital. My mum don't drive yet. All right. Um, they've just basically told me that it's inoperable now. Surgery didn't work. Um, no one knows how long I've got left now. And that's that. This is probably going to be the hardest video I've ever done. For many reasons. I'm going to try and get through it without crying. I'm going to try and get through it without being sick. Um, as most of you probably know if you're subscribed and watch. I went into hospital today to find out my results. And they weren't good. None of my sites, bar one which was miles away, were clear. So, every tumour that we thought was cancerous, but m more than that, it everywhere. There's no margins. They did the first stain and the stain was clear. And then they did a secondary and it's deposited everywhere. With deep spread. Unfortunately they can't remove my entire back and my entire side, my entire lymph node system. So surgery is now not an option. And the likelihood is chemo and radiotherapy will not work. I've been told to enjoy the next two weeks. Uh, I'm rapidly declining again. It's hard. I had to sit there whilst listening to a doctor telling me and my my mum there's not really anything they can do. We're going to try. We've got back in touch with some of the world leaders in it. And we're going to see if there's something they can do. But for now, there's nothing. Diet won't change this. Changing how my body is, alkaline or anything like that, won't change this. My cancer's deposited almost everywhere. There's nothing at this point that will change it. And that's something I have to come to terms with. Um, but still going ahead with all the DNA sequencing, even though it probably won't help me, it will help people in the future. It will help people understand what this is more, and how it spreads, and we've documented every single part of this. And the spread's rapid, and going based on other people's uh, papers and all the research we've done, the time scale for me is limited. So I am now documenting the end of my life. And that's hard. really hard but I'm going to continue to do it 
I started something and I'll finish it. I'll still do everything that everyone says to try to fix it that's within medical science and as the doctors said today everything that I've said and everything that's gone through and what we've researched and found out is all right it's worked the way that we said it would it's gone the way we said it would so the research worked and the research is working It takes one person sometimes to make a difference and hopefully I can be that one person who can create this little catalyst to fix stuff. A change for good. But I can't even explain how traumatic this is for me. And how worrying. I'll leave you with the footage of me and my mum today as we went to hospital up to the point we saw the doctors so yeah thank you for watching thank you for being there for me thank you for commenting thank you for liking everything and thank you for supporting me and I'll see you tomorrow Ta -ta. Bye bye. See you later. Right, so I'm in the car. We're on our way to the hospital again. Um, there's my mother. My mother's moaning at me because I said she can't have her, her pastry. Pastry. <laughs> pastry, that's the one, until she went on camera. <laughs> Poor woman. She's crying there like, oh dear. Terrible, terrible. One of my favourites as well. Uh, Apricot and custard. Yeah, well, she can't have a Danish until she's performed. We've got here, but we've been waiting in traffic in the car park for ages to try and find a space. How annoying is it, Mum? It is very, very, very annoying. Very annoying. Very, very, very annoying. That annoyance that I was talking about yesterday uh, hit, so I got out of the car and I've come inside and my mum's trying to park. <laughs> oh, bless her. What did you get me, Mum? Caramel Mackey's Shelter Jato or something. <laughs> nice. I'm in a queue again. What coffee was it, Mum? <laughs> what coffee was it, Mum? Caramel macchiato. Oh, you got it. That's annoying. I'll ask you again later. <laughs> I've just come out of the hospital. My mum, don't drive yet. All right. Um. They've just basically told me that it's inoperable now. Surgery didn't work. Um, no one knows how long I've got left now, and that's that. Oh.